What would you say is the number one hygiene mistake that you see a lot of guys making? Um, probably like a clean mouth, like brushing well and brushing clean yeah. enough and like flossing. And, and tongue. And, and like, yeah, like having a good clean mouth and a good breath. What about balls? You ever, you ever smelled stinky balls? What's up, gentlemen? So we talk a lot about grooming and making sure that you've got a proper grooming routine. But hygiene is the missing component that a lot of guys neglect, all right? You gotta make sure not only you're well-groomed, but your hygiene game is super strong. Today, guys, I'm gonna go over 10 of the most common hygiene mistakes most men make. Number one is not shaving or trimming your pubes and balls. Here's the deal, gentlemen, a few reasons for that. Number one, you wanna make sure that Big Al looks as big as possible. And by taking the length down, you're gonna basically make him look mas grande. The other issue with having a monster man bush or a lot of hair is that the hair traps odor. It also increases the temperature down your pants. By eliminating the majority of your pubes, you're actually gonna reduce the amount of odor you're also gonna stay drier. You're not gonna be as hot, because remember, it's a hot, meaty mess down your pants, right? You got everything all packed down there, and all day, you're rocking, you're rolling, you're running, you're heating up, and what happens is it starts to sweat, and when it sweats, it's dark, it's damp, and it starts to actually cause odor because of the bacteria that builds up. Which brings us to the second mistake, not powdering your balls. You gotta make sure you powder your nuts because it's gonna reduce the odor, it's gonna reduce the wetness, and you're gonna stay drier, smell better, and be more hygienic. You also, pro tip, should run a little powder up your booty crack so you eliminate swamp ass, which brings me to the next mistake. Not using wet wipes. When it comes to dropping a deuce, there's clean, and then there's clean. Gentlemen, here's the deal, all right? If you're just wiping with this, that's great and all, but you still got a little bit of an issue. Your butthole isn't as squeaky clean and sexy as it should be. And so what I'd recommend each and every one of you, keep some wet wipes in your bathroom. I also would recommend getting some individually wrapped wet wipes to take with you on the road. Maybe toss in your computer bag or in your glove box. Speaking of squeaky clean buttholes, gentlemen, let's talk about the shower, because this is where a lot of hygiene mistakes actually occur, all right? Number one, the biggest mistake is just using soap or body wash in your hand and then just rubbing it on your body, thinking that this is actually gonna get you clean. It doesn't, and the reason is because you've gotta make sure that you're scrubbing, and the only way you truly are gonna get the funk, the dead skin cells, and all the nasty, funky nastiness of your body is by using some type of exfoliating product. The whole idea behind the exfoliation, gentlemen, is that not only is it gonna basically get you squeaky clean, it's also gonna remove all the dead skin and bacteria and stuff that builds up over the day. You also gotta make sure, yeah, exactly, you get downtown in terms of your balls, your boys, your taint, and your crack. And after the shower, this is actually the time to talk about the next mistake, and that is cleaning your ears, all right? The proper time to clean your ears, whether or not you realize this or not, is right after the shower. And the reason is because the steam basically makes everything a little bit softer and easier to clean. And then, when you're actually cleaning your ear, another mistake that a lot of guys make is they neglect the fold. Gentlemen, you gotta make sure you get into the fold and all over your skin. You can also use a tissue, all right? After the shower, what I'll do is get a tissue and then simply wrap it around my index finger and trace my ear to make sure that it's nice and clean because you can get um, clogged pores and blackheads like in your ear and they're pretty nasty, all right? And then after I clean it, then I'll get a Q-tip and actually go for the canal. The next group of hygiene mistakes is actually dealing with your dirty little mouth because this is where so many problems arise, all right? From stinky breath to funky gums to nasty teeth, gentlemen, your mouth is a hot freaking mess. If you don't take care of it properly, right? One of the mistakes is this, using a standard old nasty crusty toothbrush. These things don't work. If you are still using a manual toothbrush, like literally, what are you doing with your life? Get rid of it. Instead, upgrade. Gentlemen, this is the brush that I use. It is called the Leif and Wave. I'm gonna link to it down below. This is a premium toothbrush that brings all sorts of crazy tooth technology to the part. This is the best toothbrush I've ever used. And the thing that makes it so much different than all these other toothbrushes on the market is not only does it vibrate like super quick, it actually oscillates. Like check this out, right? Look at that. Look at it going back and forth, all right? That is not your daddy's toothbrush. The way that it works, when you actually get your Lape and Wave in the mail, right, then you're gonna go to the app store and download the app. I told you, there's a ton of technology. And then what you can actually do is adjust the speed, you can adjust the oscillation, you can totally customize 
your brushing experience. You can also adjust the oscillation range, right? Up to 60 degree oscillation, which is insane. What does this mean? It means your teeth are gonna get cleaner, faster. Guys, once you switch to a higher quality electric toothbrush, it is like night and day in terms of how clean and white your teeth actually are. The other thing is that these things do a better job removing all the bacteria and the nasty plaque that actually builds up, keeping your mouth fresher and so that you don't get gingivitis or any type of like gum disease, which is a big problem with a lot of young dudes. Guys, I'm telling you, if you're ready to upgrade your oral hygiene game, I want you to hit that special link down below. Like I said, the price of the Lape and Wave is insane. I literally don't understand how they actually sell this product for the price that they do, but who cares? They are. Guys, now is the time. If you go through my special link, you're going to get an even more special deal. This is the best toothbrush in the game. You're going to love it. Your spicy senorita is going to love it because your breath, your mouth is going to be so damn fresh. Even though you're brushing and you're doing everything you should in terms of your oral hygiene, flossing is a must, right? Everybody should know how to floss, right? Right? You're going to wind it around there. Once you have your floss right secure, then what you're going to do in terms of proper flossing technique is go up, right? And you're going to go on either side of the gum, right? Flossing is more than just cleaning your teeth. It's actually about gum health. And this is the only way you're going to get up in and under the gum, all right? You want to go and do every single tooth to ensure that your gums are healthy, all right? One of the mistakes that a lot of guys make when it comes to brushing is brushing too aggressively or hard, right? With a brush that's too hard. And the problem with this is that as you do this over time, a lot of times it's going to damage your gums and actually make your gums start to recede. Which brings me to the next hygiene hack and that is sleeping with a silk pillowcase. The reason why silk pillowcases are actually better for your skin and your complexion is that it absorbs less moisture than like cotton which means your face is going to retain a lot more moisture. And as you know, moisture is the essence of handsome, sexy skin. Which brings me to the unfortunate next hygiene mistake that so many dudes are still making, and that is not properly washing or caring for your skin, all right? If you've got oil, if you've got blackheads, if you've got zits or pimples, this is not normal. This means that something's going on with your skin. It also could mean that your diet is fucked up because if you're eating a bunch of shit, if you're not hydrated, it's going to basically show on your skin. If you truly want to have an amazing complexion, you got to wash your face twice a day with a proper face wash. Another huge mistake that guys make is using the same soap that they use on their body for their face. Skin on your face is more sensitive, delicate, and thinner than the skin on your body. And so it needs and requires a higher quality face wash in order to not dry it out and strip it of the good, sexy moisture and oil. And the last group of mistakes that you guys make are having to do with your hands, your nails, and your feet. All right, so here's the deal. Hands are one of those things that women notice. They also are the thing that transfers a lot of oil and dirt to the rest of your body and hair and stuff like that. You gotta make sure, A, you're washing your hands regularly, right? If I have to tell you to wash your hands after you go to the bathroom, like seriously, like what are you doing with your life? You're a filthy animal. But you also need to make sure that the nails are clean and healthy. Every single one of you should invest in some type of manicure kit, right? It's gonna come with all the tools that's needed in order to make your hands and your feet look good. The proper way to actually cut your nails, I would like to show you now, right? First up, what I'd recommend is after the shower, once again, this is the proper and appropriate time to actually do your nails. And the reason is because everything is softer, sexier, and ready for clipping. All right, so check it out. Here's how you properly trim your nail, all right? What you're going to do is basically follow the nail around, all right? Don't cut it square, don't cut it blunt. And then when you're finished, all right, that little file that's on the clippers, what I want you to do is gently roll your nail around, all right? I don't want you to file like that, I want you to roll it, all right? The roll is gonna clean any jagged edges. It's also gonna keep your nail looking good in terms of a natural contour and shape. And another nail pro tip, guys, a little dab of Vaseline, right? on your cuticles, all right? It's amazing what happens in terms of keeping your nails and your cuticles healthy, shiny, and looking good, right? Check it out. Clean, healthy nails and hands. These hands, spicy senoritas be like, yo, throw them on me, daddy, because they're sexy. Because women do notice your hands and their nails. She doesn't want those gnarled, nasty, bitten, crusty, dirty nails like on her body or around like Brenda. She wants to be touched and caressed by hands that are soft, that are sexy, that are clean and hygienic.